Turkey's first steps towards accession to Europe go back more than 50 years when Ankara asked for an association agreement with the European Economic Community. Negotiations officially began in 2005. But in 2013, the EU postponed talks on Turkey's possible accession to the bloc. Widespread protests followed what was described as the heavy-handed action of Turkish police after a protest at Istanbul's Taksim Square over the uprooting of trees. An initially peaceful gathering turned violent when police tried to break it up. They have to think about their procedures and they have to think about behaviours of police and uh, maybe army. So I think uh, we have to notice at the moment that there has to be some movement from Turkey before we are starting with negotiations in a new chapter. Relations between Ankara and Brussels deteriorated further after this year's failed coup and the subsequent purges by the Turkish authorities targeting suspected instigators. The EU criticised the extent of the purges, including the arrest of leaders from Turkish main pro-Kurdish political party, the HDP. According to one analyst, the EU's indifference to Turkey and its unwillingness to deal with refugees in the country reflects rising anti-Muslim sentiment. Turkey can hardly be accepted as an EU member due to the existence of Islamophobia in Europe. The EU is now trying to avoid neighboring Iran, Iraq and Syria, the countries that border Turkey. In March, the EU entered into a controversial agreement with Turkey. For every one Syrian refugee returned to Turkey, another would be resettled from Turkey to the EU. Ankara signed the deal in return for financial and political concessions such as visa-free travel for Turks. With tensions rising, Erdogan said if talks do not proceed according to plan, Turkey may hold its own referendum on EU membership. Let's be patient. Until the end of this year, then we will go to the people. Sovereignty unconditionally belongs to the people. In spite of the discord, the EU continues the process towards accession. If the accession process came to an end, I believe we would both find ourselves in a lose-lose scenario. Europe would lose an important channel for dialogue and leverage with Turkey. Turkey would lose a lot. Turkey said it could always approach the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, whose partner nations include China and Russia. Erdogan then announced Ankara's intention to strengthen its relations with Moscow.